our lifestyles were dramatically changed. And I think the biggest um, hurdle that all managers across the country in every aspect or industry had to deal with is getting back to quote normalcy. And so um, we knew that there was going to be some, um, you know, a, a gap there in between, you know, in terms of, we call it an adaptation phase. So we lengthened our adaptation phase a lot longer to make sure we got back in and sort of remembered how to, you know, leave on certain intervals. Um, just the normal things that we sort of took for granted that we weren't doing. Uh, so we've actually looked at it and said, hey, this is a 30 week season, not a let's cram everything into three weeks and, and stress everybody out. And so we're, where we're at right now is we're, we're really in a, we're just transitioning from a, into a training phase, sort of then into a competition phase with, with meets coming up. And we're gonna rely on everybody. And, um, you know, obviously we had some individual success from last year and in previous years. And so what we want is each person to improve based on their ability. Their, our, my job is to help these guys actualize the most of their potential. So they're all going to be relied on, whether it's in the locker room, on the pool deck, in the pool, wherever else they are. So, um, you know, again, it's a vague answer, but it's, um, you know, sort of how I feel about our sport. We're so fortunate to be in this conference. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, for sure one of the most premier conferences in the country in swimming as it is in almost every other sport. And so we get to compete against national level competition every time we go. So um, that, that's exciting for them to be able to, to do that. And just again, reap their rewards. They got to practice hard. They had to grind, they had to chop wood, now they get to burn it. So um, that's probably the most exciting thing. And just, just seeing them race and have fun and be with each other, that's fun.